Yo, isn't this my tattered shoes and attendant? Isn't this my tattered shoe and attendant? There's no invitation for the grand ceremony of the general's departure from the mountains. How did you guys get in here? Before I call the guards. Hurry up! Kneel down and apologize to me. Otherwise, the guards here will have discovery. You must take off a layer of skin. Even if you don't die, we don't have an invitation later. Didn't you come with a straight face? Can you compare? Hmm. This is impossible. Don't be a dead duck with a hard mouth. Hurry up and apologize to us. You should have no ties by now. The gap between us, right? <gasps> be quiet, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to the general ceremony. The general attends to hundreds of important matters every day. He won't meet with everyone today. However, besides celebrating the departure of the general today, there is another big thing. That is to say, the general is going to propose to a lady at the scene. Ting Ting, the girl mentioned by the general might not be you, right? The general has no intersection with our family, but he also sent an invitation later specifically. Let's attend his graduation ceremony. Our daughter is naturally beautiful. He must have taken a liking to you. Ah, here he is! He's coming! If that's the case, aren't I the wife of General? <laughs> that's great. Ting Ting, Sister May, it used to be a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Sister in law, please accept the dowry from the General. Sister in law, please accept the ancestral dowry. I'm willing to. Get out. You don't look in the mirror uh, either. This. Sister-in-law, please accept the dowry from the general. Huh? You, are you saying me? Yes, sister-in-law. Ah, oops. Ching Yan, agree. Promise quickly. Oh my goodness, I finally opened my eyes. Our family to fly at a golden phoenix. I have never met General before. Why did he propose to me? Ten years ago, the General was penniless, tramped the streets, his sister-in-law, sending clothes to ward off the cold, gift of jade pendant as encouragement. There is today's invincible General Marshal. So that little boy, to be such a big shot as the General Shuai. But you go back and talk to General. I'm not suitable for him, so... I'm sorry. Silly girl, what are you talking about? Silly girl, what are you talking about? The general manager asked me to marry him in return for his kindness. And we're not from the same word, so it's not a good fit. Ah, uh, besides, I have a husband now. But... <clears throat> well, we respect Miss Kin's choice. Please move the banquet hall for dinner. Let's go. You, get out into the servants' company. You are here to serve the guests, and you want to eat with them. How proper. Ching Yan, you're confused. You're throwing away such a good opportunity. You're gonna kill me! Well, think about it again. Well, maybe it's not too late to say yes. Ching Yan, why did you refuse the marriage proposal of the general? I'm just a regular guy, and the general's status disparity. I also do not deserve him. Besides, I have not seen the world. I cannot adapt to the life of the rich. Dad, Mom, Ching Yan, don't worry. Even without the title of the general, I can make our family into a super rich family. <laughs> With you? How dare you compete with the general? You eat ours now and live ours? Wait till you find a decent job. I finally understand now. The reason why we can get in and out of this mountain ceremony is all due to our family, Xinya. I warned you. 
If Ching Yang cannot get back together with the general, you can go as far as you want. Honey, Ching Yang, go! General, what are you going to do with that guy Chu Song? Let it go. I also want to take the Chu group away from him and give it to Ching Yan, so that she can adapt to the life of the giants in advance. Got it. I also want to take the Chu Shi group away from him, give it to Ching Yan. Shit. Chu Xiao, Wang Ting Ting asked to see him. Let him in. What are you doing here? Too strong. Chi can bear to do this if people too much. Can you bury him? But I do have an idea. It could kill them both. Ah, tell me about it. Chin Ching Yan received a big gift from the Hurricane group recently. A large supply of goods is urgently needed. You mean someone came to you at this time asking for a job? Cut off her financial chain. After that, it's gonna put Hurricane group out of business. But there is a prison sentence and when the time is also afraid of Ching Yan not to ask you. Shit. The most poisonous woman is popular. I really admire you coming up with this idea. But the general has a crush on Chin Ching Yan now. If we do this to him, what should the general do if he takes it out on us? You worry too much about this. She just turned down the proposal of the general, harmed the total handsome lost face. It's too late to deal with her now. Well, in this case, it's too easy for them to just go to jail. Chi Wei, Chin Ching Yan, you guys wait for me. None of them can get away. Hi. What? Okay. Ching Yan, what's wrong being so flustered? Something happened to my company. I need to hurry over and take a look. I'll go first. Ah. What kind of trouble has the factory of Ching Yan encountered? It's a supplier in Madam's factory. A sudden collective cessation of supply. After all, without external help, there is a high possibility of bankruptcy related to the Chu family. I haven't taken action against the Chu family yet, but the Chu family brought it to their door on their own just in time. Then let's sweep away the Chu family. Withdraw another 100 million in cash sent to the Ching Yan's factory. Boss Chin, the millions in our heirs, can you make up? Huh? I advise you. Better go talk to Chu Xiao. Make an apology. Give you a chance to beg for mercy. Not so. Beg me later. I'm not going to relent. <laughs> Beg you? I don't mean to tell you what you are. You don't look very old. You talk a lot. Don't you just want the money? Help oneself? Ah! It's gotta be fucking a hundred million dollars. I've never seen so much money. Ah! Uh. Wow! Miss Chin, that's a little bit of an underestimate. A mere 100 million? Then you want to fight the Chu family? Well, it's not that simple. Take the money. Let's go. Halt! Want to get money? It's okay. But we also need to make our accounts clear. The previous contract is written right there. You need to supply us with the ingredients. If it's not available, you're going to have to pay 10 times as much. This money. How to count? <laughs> want money? Sure. When you're holding up the Hurricane Group project and you are broke and in jail, let's calculate again. Don't give the building materials factory any more trouble. Not so. I'll kill you. My hand. My hand is broken. You. Wait for me. You're a dead man. I'll have you killed. What's the trick? Just let it out. Chiwe, you better get a job when you get back. A man can do without a carrier. What? You dislike me? You're not afraid of people saying you're a Gikolo? Ching Yan, hold on to your seat. It's dangerous. What's the danger? <gasps> what are you doing?
and chew it. Are you crazy? Chew it. Ching Yan, you drive home first. What are you doing? Chew it. I'll take care of the trouble. They must be sent by Chu Piao. No, we have to go together. You don't want me to cause any trouble, do you? Go back and get some men. I won't. Do as I say. I'll do it. Chew it. Remember that. I will be there if anything happens to you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Su Chen, bring some men here. You are so lucky. We will gang up on you personally. Did Zhuo Biao send you here? You want to harm Ching Yan. He signed his death warrant. Dragons of anti-skills. Touching them will die. Stop bullshitting. You're gonna be a dead man, so you needn't know too much. Kill him. <laughs> devil! Devil! You're a devil! Ah, a guy I fought with last time. The grass was over one foot high on his grave. What do you think? I'm kind. Sorry, General. I'm late. Deal with them. You follow me to see a man. Boss Zhao, are you sure they will succeed? Four gold tigers will solve it in person. The couple must die. Uh, you didn't die. What are you doing here? I come for the liquidated damages. You go back first. I'll call someone to send it to you tomorrow when I have all the money. <laughs> Waiting for you to pull the money? I'm afraid you won't be able to pull it for a year. Come in. Welcome, Mr. Chen. Please have a seat. No, thank you. Let's talk about our contract. We have no cooperation between us, right? A couple days ago, the mysterious owner who bought all the building material factories in Jiangzhou City turned out to be Mr. Chen. No. It's Mr. Chi. I'm just one of his men. This. According to the contract, before tomorrow, you must supply this manufacturer with no less than 10 million. Otherwise, you will have to pay 10 times of penalty for breach of contract. About 1 billion. Ah, this. Mr. Chi, I didn't expect you to still have some abilities, but now you don't be smug too early. Fine. What else do you have? Show me. Hmm. It didn't solve the problem. Settle the person. Burning the contract. The problem won't be solved? Good idea. Huh. Get me somebody now. Security guard, where are you guys? <laughs> ah, what did you do to them? Are you looking for a Xi Jin Hu? It was entirely hopeless for you to count on them. Otherwise, how could they not come to save you? Ah, my god, the devil, please spare my life, please spare my life. Mr. Chi, I was wrong, please spare me. Tomorrow, you will mortgage the factory to Ching Yan. Then, 
go to the place where the accident happened today and end your own life. Dad, Mom, where's Chiwe? Dad, go to save him. He's probably still alive. You have to save Come, him, Jimian. Come, Chiwe, he may have. No way. He must be alive. I'm going to save him. Enough, Chin Cheng Yan. Your capriciousness has upset the Chin family. Chi Yue was dead. Impossible. Adjust your mood. In a while, get ready to marry Chu Song. Li Ren. Keep your mouth shut, loser. This is the daughter you raised. Look. Look what a mess she's made. Hurry up! No! Get out of here! Jin Yan, drop the knife. Put down the knife. I want to be alone. Or, or I will die. Put down the knife, Jin Yan. Get out. If anything happens to your daughter, I'll fight you to death. Jin Yan. Let me tell you the truth. I've sent someone to contact the four golden tigers. No news. Probably they killed someone. Find a place to hide out. Chi Yue was dead. But Chao Biao won't let your Qin family go. Think about it. Who else can avoid it but me, the Chu family? At ease. I will tell you. I don't care if I die. I won't involve the Qin family. Look, I'm begging me. <laughs> I can't believe you're still alive. You, you're not dead. Cheng Yan, sorry. I came back late. Chi Wei, you bastard. You're okay. Why didn't you come back last night? I was worried about you so much. Cheng Yan, it's all my fault. It worries you. I will never leave you half a step in the future. Chi Wei, how shameful you come back. Leave her alone. If you are good for Ching Yan, just leave her quickly. Zhao Biao knows he won't give up easily. If you don't do that, you will also implicate our Qin family. Only Chu Song can save us. Look, Zhao Biao is coming with someone. Ching Yan, this is your last chance. Go away, you bastard. We're going to kill our Qin family. Mr. Zhao. It's all Chi Yue's fault. It's none of our business. If you want revenge, go for him. Ah! Miss Chin. Miss Chin, we offended you yesterday. Today, we will pledge the factory to you. I hope you can accept it. Accept it quickly. You did it? How did you do it? Of course. Persuade others with reason. Um, Bocho. Literally, it's still in deadline. It can be postponed or you can take it back. Ah, please accept this contract. If you don't accept it, we'll kneel down and die here today. Chao Biao, what the fuck are you doing? You're an important man in the underground world. You knelt down to him? Shut up! What I am now, it's because of you! How dare you, Skull? You wanna die? Even if I'm dead, you will die with me. Oh. Huh. Bastard. Chi Yue, Zhao Biao, you will see. I want your lives. Chin family within 10 days. Send Chin Chin Yan to me. Otherwise, the Chin family will also be ruined. Ah. Miss Chin, please accept this contract. But I can manage all those factories by myself. Or you can sell it to me. Okay, okay, good. Now you've totally offended Chu Song. You're bound to get in trouble. Ching Yan, if you don't want the Qin family to be destroyed, go to the Chu family yourself. 
in ten days. Don't worry, in ten days, the Chu family will change their name to Qin. Qin and Qing Yan. I'm not sure whether you'll survive ten days. Now, can you tell me, how you got them to do that? Some time ago, there was a mysterious businessman who bought all the building materials factories in Jiangzhou. That person is Qian Liang Wei, the boss of the Hurricane Group. Zhao Biao lost all his working capital to Qian Liang Wei as liquidated damages. So, he had to mortgage all his building materials factories to us. Chi Wei, Qing Yan was very worried about you just now. She almost died for you. You saw it. We also agree that you are together. But I hope you don't live up to Qing Yan's affection for you. Understood? Dad, Mom, don't worry. I will definitely make her the happiest woman in the world. Dad, Mom, aren't you afraid of the Chu family's revenge? Well, if the Chu family wants to take revenge, then let him do it. We can abandon the factory and leave Jiangzhou together. As long as the two of you are happy, we old couples will be satisfied. <laughs> Jin Li Zhong, you've been a loser during your whole life. We finally stand up today. Well, <laughs> Dad, Mom, in the future, the Chin family will be my home. If something happens, I'll take the responsibility. Don't worry. Mm, I haven't agreed to date you yet. Well, <laughs> General, today I, Chao Biao, will use my life to make amends to you. We can do it now. Cha Chu, I heard you were injured. What happened? Son of a bitch! Chao Biao, he dared to hurt me. When I recover, I will find someone to kill him, and what was your stupid idea? I officially inform you that you have been fired. Get out! Chu Chu Chu, what? Don't do that. I'm also useful. Chu Chu Chu, don't you want to see what color my blood is on? Get the fuck out, you! I don't care about you! Ching Yan. What happened? My girlfriend is coming in a moment, but she didn't know the way. I'm not feeling too well right now. Can you go and pick her up for me? Okay. Wait. What does your friend look like? Chi Wei. You're heartless. You don't care why I'm comfortable. Instead, you ask my friend what he looks like. I'm ignoring you. Ching Yan. I'm sorry. I should have cared about you first. You hurry up and pick her up. We'll settle this later. Okay. General, I'm here to send money to Miss Chin. Total, 10 million. Did you mortgage the factory? Where's the money? It's in the car. This car is also given to Miss Chin. Leave the money. Drive away the car. Can you be more careful? You're so clumsy. You stain my new clothes. <laughs> Someone like you deserves to pick up the garbage forever. Sis? 
It's been so long, and your butt has gotten bigger again. Wang Lolo, sis, Ow. all you learned in college was how to be hooligan. Is that so? Hey, why did you come back alone? Where's Chi Wei? I came back alone, but I just encountered a stinky garbage picker at the door. It made me so angry. If I see that stinky garbage picker again, I'll definitely teach him a lesson on the spot. Yeah, darling, I'm back. It's, it's you. It's you. Do you know each other? He's the stinky garbage picker I just mentioned. Who said that just now? If I encounter the stinky garbage picker again, I will teach him a lesson on the spot. Shut up, I didn't say anything. Hey, you beggar. I'm warning you. If you want to marry my sister, you better find a decent job. If you can come up with a decent dowry, I want to agree to marry my sister to you. Chiwe, don't mind her. She's just a young girl who doesn't know any better. Hey, Lolo. I heard you found a job. How about treating your sister to a meal? No problem. Let's go eat now. I will treat you to a delicious stick. I heard. It's on sale today. Hey, you beggar. I'm talking to you too. But don't forget to bring money. Hey, hey, hey! Why are you carrying a sack? Didn't you ask me to bring money? Don't tell me. You have money in that sack. I was wondering why the stick was on sale today. Turns out you kill all the cows for today. You two, go ahead and eat. There's something going on at the factory. I need to go back and check. Sis, I'll go with you. Lola, do as I say. You eat with Chiwe first. We have already ordered. It's a waste not to eat it. Bye. Hmm. Go ahead and eat. Oh, Lily, you're here too. Mr. Wong, what a coincidence. Yes, it's quite a coincidence. I happen to be eating here today. Join me. Sorry, Mr. Wong. I came here with my friend. So you have friends who are migrant workers. Ask him if he's interested in working on our company's renovation. Well, Mr. Wong, my friend is not a migrant worker. Not a migrant worker? Then he must be a garbage picker. Mr. Wang, please watch your words. Show some respect for others, thank you. You say I'm disrespectful? Then I won't show you any respect. Wang Lele, let me tell you, you've been fired from the company. Unless you come over and have a drink with me. I don't care if I'm fired. Fine, Wang Lele. You have guts. All right. Then I'll just have to go eat Australian steak. You can enjoy your meal with this garbage picker here. A 66 yuan mediocre steak. Hold on. Hold on. She's my younger sister-in-law. Only I can bully her. Others can't. Apologize to Lily and kneel down. Otherwise, I'll make you regret it. <laughs> Do you have a problem in your head? Who gave you the courage to say such things? Are all garbage pickers this arrogant nowadays? I'll say this too. Today, Wang Lele must accompany me for a drink. Otherwise, I'll make sure you can't survive in Jiangzhou City. What are you doing? You have embarrassed us so much. It's so shameful. Just because you protected me earlier, I'll forgive you for this kick. So what if you don't forgive me? Hurry up and leave! So embarrassing! Why are you in such a hurry? Give me ten minutes. 
I'll make him kneel down and apologize to you. I really don't know what my sister sees in you. Is she mentally ill? She's definitely not well. Waiter. Yes, sir. What's the most expensive red wine you have? Is the imported Romane Conti. 50,000 yuan per bottle. All right. Table 5 said they wanted a bottle. Serve it to them. Understood, sir. This is the consequence of opposing me. The show is about to begin within 10 minutes. Let's see if you come begging to me or not. Waiter, waiter, the bill please. Hello sir, your total comes to 50,532 yuan. What? Over 50,000 yuan? How is that possible? Ma'am, this bottle of wine alone is worth 50,000. Um, I will pay later. Let me make a phone call first. Oh, Lele. Romane Conti, huh? I can't afford this wine. You are so classy. You bastard. All of this was intentionally arranged by you. You are so classy. So what if it was arranged by me? And what if it wasn't? In any case, you're the one drinking the wine. Today, just pay the bill. Dream on! Or how about this? You come and have a drink with me, and I'll pay for you. <laughs> you really are a stubborn to the end. If you dine and dash like this, you'll end up in jail. Give me the car keys. Here, take them. Here, take them. Go bring the sack from the car. Sir, your keys. Open up. Isn't this a trash bag? You really are picking up trash. Are you planning to pay with your garbage? Enough? That's enough, sir. Wang, you finished eating with a pain. What are you doing here? Can I afford to pay? Come, drink with me. I will pay for you. Hold on. Did I say you could leave? Your words are too arrogant. You can't stop me, even if I am leaving. I've told you before, you will kneel down and apologize to me. <clears throat> Young man, don't get too arrogant. Hello? What? What? The company has been sealed? How? How is that possible? I, I haven't offended anyone. It was you. Who are you? It was you. Who are you? You have no right to stand and talk to me. Kneel down. Ah, Lele, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have treated you like that just now. I have a family to support. Many people depend on the company. Lele. Lele. Didn't she just invite you to have a drink? And go ahead. Thanks, Yue. Cheers! Cheers to you, bad lot. And you have the nerve to talk about your family. Hmm. How many girls have you hurt? Can you even face your family after that? If you dare to harass any more girls in the future. Yue, he won't let you go. Yue, let's go. Your anger has subsided, but I'm still angry. Lily, let's go. But what about the money? Ask the restaurant owner to bring it over for us. Also, the steak is too terrible. Don't pick here again. Okay, got it. You bastard. Dare to go against me? I'll make sure you won't end up well.